Brian with uh, Fred's Tents here with another edition of Tuesday Tent Talks. I'm here with Jeff Crotto with All About Events in Jacksonville. Uh, just touching base with him. And there's a special greeter here at All About Events. It's Lucky the dog. Sit. 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 Tell me about how things are for you right now during the, the state that we're in with COVID. Things are actually better than I would have expected when this first started. Um, you know, for us, we're, we're about two thirds volume of what we typically would do in October. Um, we're doing it with two thirds of the staff. So it feels, it feels busy like it, like it normally would. Um, but it's better than I, better than I thought it would be. Um, same kind of events for the most part, uh, for us, we do primarily weddings and things like that. So those are coming back, albeit, you know, smaller and more of them to, to make it up. But, um, but things are generally, you know, trending up. Uh, we've seen pretty good bit, uh, bookings rather for the spring. Um, so here in Florida, anyway, I anticipate being back to, you know, some semblance of normal, at least on the, uh, overall by, you know, spring, late spring. Okay. And you were talking, you do a lot of weddings, not necessarily the larger events, and that's kind of been a saving grace you feel. Yeah. I mean, one of the blessings for us is that we do 55 or 60% of our businesses weddings. Um, so those are the things that are, um, you know, easily rescheduled and people are able to manage the size of and things like that. So those are, are kind of the first things we've seen coming back. Um, like everybody else, um, we do have you know some long-term rentals, like most people do, and then um, we um, those larger events we do some, okay. but we don't do a ton of them, and those are you know non-existent. Some of them sure. are planning them for sure. 2021, um, but you know those those are you know gonna be the last things kind of coming back. But the the fact that we do so many weddings and our business is geared to do weddings, our inventory and stuff with with all of our our inventory, it's it's been good. You're in a unique situation. Your region three director yep. uh, for ARA. Yep. So you've got kind of your ears out there and talking with a lot more rental companies. Sure. Uh, what are you hearing from individuals within the region three? Well, I'll say for both parts. I mean, both from the manufacturers that I talk to, you know, um, either on you know on board calls throughout the region or you know, you know, in in the course of business, you know, in our business. Um, as well as, you know, from the, from the members on the boards and the people on the region and stuff that I hear, um, things are, are trending up. I mean, region three being in the, you know, in the Southeast is right. we're, we had the, we had a, you know, a wave, if you will, earlier, and it's, it's, it's settled a little bit for us. And, um, they've stayed rel cases have stayed relatively low comparatively, whereas, you know, the spikes in other parts of the country. So I think as long as, you know, as long as that trend maintains in the region, I think that we're, we're on the road back. Um, but almost universally throughout the region, you know, on the party event side specifically, because that's who's most affected by, by everything that's going on with COVID. Um, things, are, things are better, bookings are picking up, the phones are picking up, um, and people are overall just, just much more optimistic. And again, that, that's both the manufacturers I've talked to as well as, you know, as well as members in the, you know, in the general members in the region. Fantastic, and I know early on you were, as with everyone, uh, very much of a unknown. Sure. Um, things are getting better. Any final parting words for maybe some of the smaller guys uh, that, you know, their doors have still been closed. Um, anything for them? I think you, I mean, the one thing that we've found through this is that our, our um, you know, our creditors and vendors and people that we, you know, owed money to or owe money to, have been very, very good across the board, working with us, and and uh, you know it's in everybody's best interest for you to survive. So I think as long as you're honest with people and upfront, don't avoid, don't avoid those calls when somebody calls and says, "Hey, you owe me money. Where is it?" Don't avoid the call. Take the call. Take it head on. Tell them the truth. Most people, because if you fail, they're not going to get that money anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's in their best interest to work with you and, and figure out a path forward. Um, so you know if you. If you can, you know, hold on, um, you know, and we've done some stuff with advanced bookings that get, you know, giving people discounts to pay in advance, like they just to improve the cash flow during this time, and it's been it's been successful. We've, like I said to you today, it's been much better than I thought. Like you told me in early March where we were, or excuse me, late March when this first started, I, you know, I wasn't sure we were going to be here today, um, and it's we're in a better place today than we probably were a year ago because we've been smarter about things we've done and we've, everybody's sort of, it's sort of been a good kick in the tail for all of us to, you know, trees don't grow to the sky and it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a reset for all of us. And I think it's been good. Fantastic. Jeff, I'm Brian. That's another edition of Tuesday Tent Talks. Have a great day.